I'm one of one. I'm number one. I'm the only one. Don't even waste your time trying to compete with me. Hey guys, Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel, Miss Brooklyn's Journey. For those of you that are new here on the account of this video, do consider subscribing and join the Bestie Night Nation. Only reason I have for you right now is you get inducted into a community that love you, show up for you, and hype you up. We boast you to become the very best version of yourself. So if that's something that you're lacking in your life and lacking just in general on social media, I'm your girl. This is the channel and this is the community for you. Speaking of community, welcome back to my bestie nights. I love you guys so much. Make some noise in the comment section. I'm excited about this video because like I said in my last video, which if you did not see my previous video, make sure you check it out. It's going to pop up an iCard here. Or is it here? One of them. We did a weekly meal prep and this is still in continuance of the weekly meal prep because I filmed three lunch ideas for you guys and I also show you how to make my salted caramel in this video. You know, the one that I've been boasting about in my coffee on social media. If you follow me on like TikTok, Instagram, or even if you watch my shorts here on this channel, you would have seen the coffee that I've just been making like crazy. And um, make sure you keep an eye out because you're going to see the salted caramel no bake cheesecake that is in the weekly meal prep. Everything that you see in this video and more is in my weekly meal prep e-cookbook. I do weekly or actually they're bi-weekly e-cookbooks. So if you want the recipes in this video, you're going to have to purchase the e-cookbook. Link is down below. It is less than $10. It's affordable, accessible to everyone. Less than $10. Full recipe measurements and amounts and nutritional facts are included as far as macros. We have about a week left for this cookbook to be up. If I'm doing the timing right, because I'm going to be honest, I'm only filming the intro to this video right after I just did the other one. So if the timing is right, we have a week left. So if you want this e-cookbook, get it. Otherwise, you can see what's in store in the next one to come. I don't really know what's going on. I honestly think I'm going to take a break from the meal plans um and actually it's a lot of work to do these meal plans and have them accessible and type up everything it's a lot of work so i think i'm gonna take a break because i have some other things that i need to focus on um yeah so i hope you guys that's everything i really wanted to say my next video will be a weight loss update you guys and then i will update you guys on basically what's been going on with me we gotta talk we got some things we're gonna get into so we're going to do a weight loss update the very next video. So yeah, see you guys in a week. Next video is going to be a weight loss update. Enjoy the recipes. Enjoy this video. Take what you want from it. Cook what you can. Uh, honey, get down in the kitchen, do you? And update that back. <laughs> All right, let's just jump right into the... What is it? Oh, let's go. Caramel sauce is super simple. I'm still trying to perfect the, the measurements and amounts. Okay, my pan is hot. Don't judge my pan. Um, it's actually too hot. I'm going to add the water. No, this is too hot. Mmm, hesitating. Okay, yeah, it's hot. Alright. Now, I do, I'm do. i doing a wet caramel, so that's why you see I'm using water here. And the thing with this is you got to be very careful. I want the sugars to crystallize and you don't want the sugars to come up to the sides too much so be careful I really should have went and gotten a heavy bottom pan but it is what it is I'm not gonna play with it too much I just want to make sure that the sugar is dissolving that's my main goal Full recipe measurements and amounts is gonna be in the ebook you can get that down below like I said so this is what you're looking for for like a candy caramelization um, to start happening, you want to make sure that everything is dissolved and you're making like a simple syrup. Think simple syrup, right? For those of you ha that have ever made simple syrups or well, the process of candy, making something candy, this is what you're looking for. You guys will never understand how much filming is not fun these days because my camera is acting crazy. Um, but I guess anything for y'all. I see some crystals on top and... I'm just going to give it a lightly, a light little nudge to just make sure it's going to dissolve. Be gentle. This is easy and it comes together quick. So you can't, you can't leave your station. You have to stay here. So I want to note that, remember I used a little bit of the dark um, swerve. So my color started brown already. You know it's starting to be ready once you smell it. You're going to smell 
toffee. You're gonna smell caramel. You're gonna smell the, the sensation of caramel, like toffee, candy-ish, like you're about to start baking something good. That's what you're looking for. We're almost at that point, the bubbling is happening. Everything is looking good. Everything is dissolved. I left it alone, I didn't bother. Look how it got so much darker. This is what we want. Now, I'm gonna turn the fire off and immediately add this butter, immediately. I want to gently whisk in my butter. Like so, I'm telling you, this thing comes together so quick. And then now that my butter is mixed in, I'm gonna add my heavy cream that is room temperature or heated up. You do not want it cold, you want it warm because it will seize up. So, look at that. Okay, salted caramel, baby. We're gonna crack some pink Himalayan salt, a little bit of vanilla extract, and then we are good to go with the fire back on and letting it thicken up. Oh, this is good. Oh my God, it's so good. I would put bourbon in here, but it's for coffee. Why am I putting bourbon? I'm doing the most. I think I'm gonna do a holiday one and put some bourbon in here. But it's so good. Then next, you're just gonna let it thicken up and do its thing. Look at that. Look how gorgeous my caramel looks. Oh, it's perfect. It's so perfect. So I'm just gonna let this completely cool down and I'm gonna keep whisking it as it turns to room temperature because I don't want it to get too thick and hard. And yeah, we're done with our caramel. Voice over Brooklyn taking over here. So you just wanna put it in a jar that tightly seals and you can just warm it up in the microwave give it a mix and your caramel is ready to use um my jars are linked in my amazon store i will have the links down below in my description box but yeah that's our caramel next i'm going to show you how i make my salted caramel coffee cake latte ice latte i don't know what this is but it's good okay well most people like their sweet cold cream on top i like mine at the bottom so i'm gonna start off by putting a tablespoon of my caramel sauce some heavy cream and this is my favorite kitchen device right now i got it off amazon and it is so powerful it works amazing it comes with three attachments if you don't watch my vlog then you did not see the full unboxing but this clip was only 25 seconds long and look how it made my cream it can go thicker than that but i stopped because i don't like it too thick but baby when i tell you this will give you peaks oh my gosh 25 seconds only then you're gonna go in with some ice or coffee ice i forgot to make coffee ice the night before so i'm using ice and i hate it with just regular ice i need the coffee ice anyway you add your um coffee and then a little bit more of the caramel sauce the cold foam just comes to the top it's so Oh, and then you add two tablespoons of coffee cake oat cream. Anyway, I put the recipe, which I don't really call it a recipe, but I put it in the e the summertime meal plan ebook. So yeah, if you get it, you'll see it. But yeah, it's my favorite coffee. It's my favorite drink. I'm obsessed. I drink it every day, and it's guilt free. So yay! <laughs> Moving on. Next, we are going to make probably my favorite thing, or second to favorite, or one of my favorite things it is the spicy chicken snack wrap y'all remember the mcdonald's snack wrap baby we're making it at home and quick and easy i told you it's summertime we don't want to be in the house cooking so we're making easy meals these are the ingredients you're going to need um for the shredded lettuce i'm using romaine some sliced onions some tomatoes some cheese you know the whole nine I did write the recipe out. It is in the meal plan down below. And we're cheating. We're not making our own chicken because we want to be outside. So this cauliflower, cauliflower chicken, new chicken on the block, the spicy chicken tenders, pick this up right now. Go to your local supermarket and pick it up. If you are keto, leave it right there. Just walk by and find some grilled chicken because you cannot have this. But low carb, oh baby, yeah. You're gonna need some low carb tortilla and um, nothing over four carbs, you know, because the chicken tenders has carbs. So be mindful. I'm gonna make two batches because of course I gotta feed my little girl, my mother. <laughs> I somehow, how did as adults, the children became the parents and the parents became the children? How did that happen? But anyway, you're gonna cook your chicken tenders according to package instructions. And I actually do mine about a minute or two under because I don't, 
I don't want it to turn too dry and crispy. And then you're just gonna quickly grill up some tortillas. This is so simple. It literally takes you about 12 to 15 minutes to make this. And you have the kitchen outside in them um, hoochie mama shorts, okay? Or your hoochie daddy shorts, yeah. Um, lay your salad down, put your toppings, your tomatoes, your onions, and then you're gonna season it a little bit. You don't need to season the chicken tenders. It has all the flavor. It's perfectly seasoned. It's not spicy though, according to my standards, because y'all know <laughs> your girl, she loves spicy food and she, you know, she could take heat. She's Korean, so I can handle heat. To me, to me personally, the chicken is not spicy. To some of you, you might say, oh, we have a kick. They have a regular one, but this one, oh yeah, she's that girl. But look at the chicken tender. Doesn't it look so good? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And yeah, it is breaded with cauliflower. And they use actual oat fiber and wheat fiber for this too. So it's not just cauliflower. You're going to top it with your um, fat-free ranch dressing. Not as much as I did. I was trying to be aesthetically pleasing for the video and I went crazy. Do not put that much. You don't want that much. You want to taste your food, not just ranch. But baby, the snack wrap. Yeah, my mouth is drooling. You heard, you heard that pop? I'm drooling. I can eat this every day and not get tired. I actually be craving it. And it's so amazing how we can eat good and still lose weight, okay? It's amazing. Next up, our salad, baby. Our salad, yeah. Another hack, okay? So we're gonna ditch the wrap, okay? We're gonna put a banging salad together. So you're gonna cook the chicken again according to packaging, you know, take your serving out or whatever and put your salad together. For me, I always have to season my salad, my lettuce, um, because that takes your salad to another level. Like a little bit of salt and pepper seasoning it. Mm. People can be like, oh my gosh, that's the best salad I ever had. Girl, I just put a little salt and pepper on it, okay? <laughs> But um, for my toppings, I did some eggs, some onions, some tomatoes. I'm telling you, it's so good. You, you're you probably like, girl, that's the same wrap. No, duh, there's egg in it. There's going to be avocado. We're going to do some flax seeds. We're going to do some crispy onions. Uh-huh. Yeah, the salad is so good. A little bit of cheese. I don't like that much cheese in my salad because for what? What's the reason? And I hate the fact that I have to have my food look perfect for pictures and videos because look at me. I promise this is my food. This is nobody's food. This is just my big ass salad. But look at all the stuff that I got to do just so it could look pretty for y'all on social media and in videos. Like, come on. I take so much time when my mom, I could have just slapped it together. But no. But yeah, I'm going in with the flax seeds, the dressing, and the... um crunchy onions I do that stuff after because I don't want it to get soggy while I'm taking pictures or videoing and videoing but yeah that's the salad it is so good the toppings are endless throw some jalapenos throw some roasted cauliflower like I mean have some fun with your salads but this maybe 10 minutes 14 minutes because you got to cook the chicken and we out the kitchen we're back outside like Who's slaving? Who's even dirtying a pan? Throw that aluminum foil out. Next up, we are doing the viral shop sandwich. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. So there's this um, popular viral store in Brooklyn. It's a deli in Brooklyn where they make these chopped um, sandwiches, these chopped, um, like, it's a bodega. They make these chopped, like, heroes. And so it's been going viral on TikTok and social media and everybody's been recreating it or trying to. And your girl of Brooklyn got in on the fun. I made my own version of it. I'm definitely going to stop by the actual deli and, you know, see what it's about. I got to wait for a cheat day though. But you're going to put everything in a pile and you're going to get you a good knife. And baby, you're going to chop, okay? Chop your life away. You see it. In the beginning, I had everything already sliced thin to help me, but all you want to do is keep chopping. Scoop and chop, chop and scoop, scoop and chop, chop and scoop. It's just that simple. Um, I did cut it out, but I wound up using two knives because I wanted to, you know, get it faster. But yeah, the the most of the work come in from like you chopping, but it don't take long. Take a good like three to five minutes and then you're going to do the dressing for it. So when you go to a deli, what do you like to tell them that you want on your sandwich? Think about that. The topics that you like on your sandwich, that's what you're going to want to make, you know, and the type of meats that you like on your sandwich, the type of cheeses you like. So you can make this very customizable. If you like prosciutto, salami, pastrami, ham, all of that, you can use that. I don't like cold cuts like that. I am very basic. The most you'll get out of me is some turkey and pepperoni. Like your girl and cold cuts, we don't really mix unless it's just turkey and pepperoni. But yeah, make your dressing, fold everything in and keep chopping some more. 
I'm going to do mine on a low-carb bagel. <laughs> oh, it's only 12 net carbs, honey. Relax. It's a low-carb bagel I get from a local um, New York um, bakery here. Around my way, it's um, a local bagel shop. But yeah, look how good this looks. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Alright guys, that was everything I have for you. I really hope you did enjoy this video. This is why I hate wearing lip gloss because your hair gets stuck to the lips. But the lips are popping. You can't deny that. <laughs> That's everything I have for you guys in this video. Like I said, full recipe measurements, details, amounts is in the e-cookbook. Get it down below. My weekly meal prep e-cookbook. I think this is the last week to get it if my math is mathing. Alright, so that's all I have for you guys. I want to leave you with stay the course, stay on track. Don't let someone dis distract you. Do what you have to do. We have six months left. We have six months left. Do what you have to do. Alright, I love you guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.